Haiti is wonderful. I just love going there. It seems weird that I get excited about going to a third world country, but it's absolutely true. The people, people there are just amazing. They just um, are so full of love and despite circumstances, they find joy. And it's an immeasurable joy that just cannot um, be described really. One of the greatest uh, stories that I heard this year in Haiti was a story about two siblings that lived in the orphanage out of Tomazo. And I'm not sure how they ended up at that orphanage, but some, we were under the understanding that something happened to both parents and that uh, they were found wandering around town and so they were given a place to stay at the Tomazo orphanage. Now, the boy had some sort of physical um, disability. He just didn't have very good motor skills, something along the lines of cerebral palsy, but he was never really diagnosed with what was wrong. And on previous trips, we have brought physical therapists to try to help him try to gain strength and walk better and try to hold a pencil better, try to just, you know, help him at school a little bit more, making accommodations and having the teachers understand what his limitations were. And the orphanage director, Natasha, continued to do his exercises on a daily basis, and he was really making measurable progress year to year. Well, come to find out, um, the father of the, those two children had heard from a friend of a friend of a friend that his kids were in an orphanage. And so he came to Tomazo and was able to verify that both those children were his. Well, due to the stress of losing kids, him and his wife had, had been through so much trouble and trouble struggles just trying to um, find their children but yet support themselves and they had lost their jobs and so it was just a super difficult time in their marriage. So. Um, the mother had actually taken off to um, the DR to find work and um, try to pick up the pieces of her life and move on. Well, he left the kids at Tomazo and went to the DR to find her. And um, they brought her back to Tomazo and the family was reunited. They're now living in Tomazo. Um, since there is a new kitchen built at Tomazo for the school, she's now a cook for the school and her children still attend school. Um, and the husband is now working with the church and also doing some work in town um, to where he's now a godly, faithful man and his family has been restored. They're continuing to work on the exercises with their son and I barely recognize the son this year. He's almost walking normal. He's excelling at school. It is just an unbelievable story. Of